if you are a parent and in relatively good health and have some issues that you need to work out with your kids you should do it now because I'm reading some of these comments from don't be a hospice care kid and a lot of kids are going to be leaving their kid their parents in nursing homes I'm gonna read some of the comments as many of the comments that I can get in three minutes Mimi said it's really sad um, it's really sad I met a man in his 50s have all these sorts of ailments I asked him where his family he said he lives alone, and every holidays he's sick and in the hospital. Then he proceeds to say, I have 17 children. I asked, where are they? This man said, they want nothing to do with him. I asked why. He, I said, were you there for them? He said he was there, but wasn't in their lives. I said, it makes sense now. He had these children with different women, and not one came to see him. He said, but I was there... Then I said, sir, physically you are around, but you weren't now lay there and let that marinate. Crystal says, my stepfather tried to pull that mess when he went blind. She said, oh, that's really unfortunate. And it's nice hearing from you and talking. Yes, we are all doing well, but I have to go now. Take care of dad and hung up the damn phone. I don't know if she ever spoke to him again, but she never did meet or go visit him. Didn't, um, didn't attend the funeral either. That's what they deserve. Champagne says, this reminds me of the many stories of guys that make it to the sports industry. And all of a sudden, here comes the long lost deadbeat fathers, the nerve. And Smelly Cat says, my father was a very abusive alcoholic. My mother finally left him when I was like 10. Didn't keep in contact with him. I guess that's supposed to be after that. He's now in hospice care with a lot of health issues and his brother wanted me to take him in and care for him. I just can't do that. I love my dad, but I don't have a connection with him. I will help my mom when she needs me though. She's always been there. Yo, this literally happened to me. Situation happened where my father, who was never around, wanted to get a paternity test. Come to find out he was sick and dying from kidney disease. He wanted my kidney. He even had other kids he was there for, but he didn't want to ask them for help. Maybe the long lost daughter who's grown with a husband and kids he did nothing for, did nothing to help with or to get to know. I'm sorry, I fumbled that. He didn't have the money to buy a DNA test. So they wanted me to buy the DNA test when he came to me with this idea. I just chucked the deuces and stopped talking to him. He ended up dying a few years later, didn't go to the funeral, never got the DNA test. There are so many more of these comments popping off. Parents need to get it together before they have to get it together alone in hospice, in the hospital.